Hi everyone. An important emerging concept in process improvement is the science of improvement. One of my objectives in this course is to get you familiarized with this concept and actually put it in practice with your project in a course. This material is not in your textbook and you may need to look it up in Google or your other favorite internet search engine. The science of improvement is made up of three interrelated components. The first one is DMAIC, and you will be reading quite a bit about DMAIC in this course. The second component is the scientific method. And finally, the third component is the model for improvement. This is the model that is used by the Institute of Healthcare Improvement. It was devised by an organization named Associates in Process Improvement in the 1990s. Here is a brief history of the model for improvement. It first started with Walter Schuhart, who devised the plan, do, check, act cycle circa 1939. W. Edwards Deming, a student of Schuhart, went to Japan after World War II to help reconstruct the manufacturing industry. The Japanese culture was more in tune with study instead of check, and as a result, Deming renamed the Schuhart PDCA cycle to PDSA cycle, which is what is prevalently in use today. In the 90s, Deming synthesized his work into a body of knowledge called the System of Profound Knowledge. The founders of Associates in Process Improvement, who were students of Deming, leveraged from those concepts and formulated the model for improvement. The model for improvement is made up of three fundamental questions in a test cycle. The first question is about setting SMART goals. We will talk about SMART goals in another video. The second question deals with measurements to demonstrate if a change actually results in an improvement. The third question comes in the form of selecting changes that can make an improvement. The PDSA cycle is shorthand for testing a change. It is important to consider that the combination of selecting possible changes and the PDSA cycle together form the basis of the scientific method as used in the science of improvement. About the scientific method, it is a six-step process as shown here. The foundation of the scientific method is the formulation of an hypothesis and testing the hypothesis with an experiment. This is sometimes referred to as the experimental method. Next, we see how the three questions from the model for improvements line up with the scientific method. Finally, the testing or PDSA cycle is used to develop or plan an experiment do the experiment, which is followed then by a study of the results and an action against the conclusions of the test. Now, let's line up the DMAIC problem solving methodology with the model for improvement. Interestingly enough for this course, each of the assignment is aligned with the questions from the model for improvement where assignment 1 is aligned with question 1, assignment 2 is aligned with question 2, and assignment 3 is aligned with question 3. In conclusion, the model for improvement is used in many industries and companies throughout the world. It has applications in many types of projects, ranging from small, personal improvement types of project, all the way out to very large system-wide improvement. This is the model that is used by the Institute of Healthcare Improvement and that we will be reviewing in great detail during our project coursework.